Flashback. The year is 1967. Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin set out for the Six Rivers National Forest in Northern California. They are bringing along three horses and ample supplies for the trip. Patterson also brings along a 16 millimeter camera that he had rented. It was now Friday, October the 20th and Patterson and Gimlin were on horseback riding along the east bank of Bluff Creek. As the two men are riding along the creek bed, they spot a large figure beside the creek. Gimlin is in a mild state of shock. Patterson's horse rears up. Patterson struggles to control his horse and exits the saddle. The large, hairy, ape-like figure begins to walk away from the men. He quickly grabs a 16 millimeter camera and runs after the creature. Patterson yells to Gimlin, cover me! Patterson films the creature as it walks away from the area. The beginning of the film is shaky, but once Patterson reestablishes himself, the film becomes steady. During this part of the filming, the female creature looks over its right shoulder and looks at Patterson. The hairy figure disappears behind a group of trees. Patterson moves roughly 10 feet to bring the creature back into view. It was at this point the creature begins to fade into the forest background and Patterson's camera runs out of film. Gimlin who had dismounted from his horse, rifle in hand, now remounts his horse and follows after the creature. Patterson, who was without a rifle, calls Gimlin back, fearing another creature might be around and it could attack. The film shot by Patterson that day of the creature runs for almost 60 seconds. It is easily the most known and recognizable piece of Bigfoot history on the planet. The debate of its authenticity is still ongoing today.